Hello, this is Wesley with Snap Dent, and here we have a 2024 Polestar 2 with hail damage. And uh, we actually have a lot of about 10 of these cars with hail damage. And I wanted to point a few things out to you because, uh, you know, when we buy a car, we need to, to make sure that if uh, we ever need service, if we ever need to do anything that might happen to it, we want to make sure that it's going to be easy to do, it's going to be readily available. Uh, the repair, for example, if you get a car with a very exotic color, how easy or, or how hard is it going to be to find that color later on, or how easy or hard is going to be to match that color with uh, the other panels. So in this case here, this is an aluminum uh, hood, uh, and these dents, they are so sweet, very, very easy, very light dents. Uh, compared to all the dents that we, we take here, which are really deep and, and stretched. So as soon as we saw this, I mean, it was amazing to look at it. Such a nice dent to do. If it wasn't for the inner panel, which unlike most of the cars, which gives us space to, to uh, access the dents behind here, this is all sealed, all the second panel here, is pretty much glued to the outer panel, okay? Giving no access whatsoever to fix uh, most of these dents. Uh, you know, in these areas here, we might be able to access dents around these areas, but around here, it's pretty much impossible to fix any dents in there. And for that reason, uh, we decide to turn this down because it doesn't make sense to fix 90% uh, or 80% of the dents and not a hundred percent. So the bottom line is this. Uh, if, you, if you get a dent on a hood like this, uh, you're out of luck because in this case here, we're turning this down uh, until someone come up with a solution which I doubt it because logically uh, the double panel is, is glued in there and unless you pretty much cut this whole area here and remove this panel, uh, which is not going to be safe uh, for the car. Uh, there's pretty much nothing that can be done on, on, uh, on this hood. So you get a dent on this, whether it's a hail damage or like here in Miami, we have uh, avocado trees, mango trees, coconut trees. If one of those fruits fall on top of this hood and makes a dent, which we fix every day on this hood, you're out of luck. It's, it's impossible to fix. Uh, and there's a good chance you're gonna, need, you're gonna need a new hood. The same thing goes for this uh, top front here, okay? The access on this area is very limited, as you can see over here, very limited, especially, see, this area here? This is glued to this outside, so basically this, this is stretch here, uh, there is pretty much no access. Now, this area on the back is, uh, uh, a little bit different. Uh, we actually can get behind those panels in there and manage to get, if not all, uh, a, a lot of them. So, which is an unfortunate because, again, you know, car makers, when they design the cars, they, they should know that uh, if you ever get, you know, a, a dent or something like that, you should have options to, to fix it without having to replace a panel. So if you're planning on buying a car like this, just keep this in mind that uh, the hood and that front panel in there, very, very limited access. There is a good chance that you're gonna have to replace uh, the hood. And on that roof in there, you're gonna have to do body work. You're gonna have to fill it with bondo uh, in order to fix those dents.